everybody, this is Patrick Shaka, Editor-in-Chief of Yachting Magazine. I'm here today at the Palm Beach International Boat Show with Richard Ford, founder and CEO of Horizon Power Catamarans. And we are here today to talk about the Horizon Power Catamaran PC60. Good morning, Richard. Good morning. So Horizon Power Catamarans has a fairly wide range of boats. Could you just talk about how this 60 falls into the range? So we've got four that we build right now, which is a PC52, that's our smallest. The 60, which is what we're on today. Um, a 65, and we did a custom 74 as well. So where we are now is we're in the salon of the 60, and one of the big features of this boat is the layout options of this deck. So in the PC60, we, we really offer it in two versions. One is what you see here, is what we call the open salon version, where you walk inside these eight foot doors and you have this massive interior. This is a 3-3, a so master cabin takes the entire starboard side of the boat, and you have two guest cabins to port, both on suite. The other version we have is where you see this main sort of bulkhead here. Normally there's a door that goes through and so that becomes the master cabin. Um, and so you have two options. And we think that, you know, our cruising folk that, that buy the boat, those that live aboard a, a lot, when I say f six to eight months of the year, they have sort of chosen the, the on-deck master. And I think it's primarily the wives <laughs> that enjoy, enjoy the on-deck master. Um, those that have, have elected to do this open salon are either, have either you know, come up from the 52, which can't do an, an on-deck master. So they're used to the fact of having this massive entertainment platform. And they're really just going down to the cabin you know, to sleep. That's so we have, those, we have those two options. What are the, kind of some of the other personalization that an owner can put on this boat? We've got a very mature product here. We're standing on hull 24, and the first PC60 was launched uh, in 2012. So we're 10 years in, in the making from the same set of molds. Equipment changes. So we offer top of the range Miele appliances. So there's not really that choice for the client, but if they wanted to have a induction cooktop or a propane cooktop, certainly those are the uh, the customizations that can happen. There are options in the PC60 with, with regards to engines. MAN have come out with their new 850 and 800, so the standard boat comes with a QSM11 Cummins, but you can go up to 850 horsepower in this boat, which would then take it up to 27 knots. So if speed is a thing, you know, we can accommodate that. So, so with the 705 Cummins, what kind of performance do you see? Um, this particular boat we ran down from Jupiter. We came down at top boat speed of 24 knots, cruising very comfortably at 20. Hmm. But then when it comes to the customization of the boat, the fit and finish of the interior, well, that's where Horizon really have some strength and surpass any competition. All of your countertops, your main wood, the detail in the ceiling, the choice of woods, whether you wanted a matte or gloss finish, all of that is customizable. Your floor, hardwood floors, leatherettes, colors, and we have a, a massive design center. My wife, Lee, has done probably 40 interior designs with the owners. And we find that a very important part of the sales process because when you buy a boat and you have this option to customize, you now get a little nervous. So, <laughs> oh, what am I gonna choose there? And, and she calms the couple down mm -hmm. And, and walks them through the whole process and, and, and becomes a, a fun event. So the thing about Horizon Power Catamarans is we know that Power Catamarans have become very popular, but you were there long before there was a trend, long before it was like, oh, everybody wants one. You have always been dedicated to this market segment. So what separates the Horizon Power Catamarans from what's currently out there or available or, or what you see coming on the market? So we never converted from a sailing cat to a, to, a, to a power cat. The boat was designed from the ground up from a clean piece of paper as a power cat. You'll notice that there's some of these power cats that are 30 feet wide. That's not good in a power cat option. You know, here on the 60, we're 24 and a half feet wide. The 65 is 24 and a half feet wide. Um, and when we went to the 74, it only went to 28 feet wide. When you're doing 20 knots into a six to eight foot chop, the reason why catamarans sometimes get a bad rap is because the bridge deck is so wide and it has flat surface. So you come and you're slamming into a wave and you're sneezing and slamming. We don't do that. 
So what is the construction like? But you said you have people that live aboard, they spend months cruising, so they're, they're out at sea for a long period of time. So you need a, a robust hull underneath you. So what's the construction process like? We do the patented scrimp system. Um, I think there's only one other production boat builder in the world that uses the scrimp system. Um, it's a dry layup mm -hmm. and you pull, there's a vacuum all the way through in one monolithic pull from the bow to the stern. And that gives the perfect match of resin and glass, which ensures it being the strongest form of, of layout that you can have. You're also saving some weight there? Oh, big time, big time. Which then goes into performance, which then goes into fuel burn, which then well, goes into- everything, everything about catamarans is weight. You've got to, mm -hmm. you have to have accommodated for the weight. I think a lot of boats, you know, clearly a sailing cat never had melee f household fridges and mm -hmm. big generators and whatever, because it's a different mindset of client. From the ground up, you have to know what's going in the boat so that you specify the whole form to carry that weight. On Deck Master on a 60 foot is incredibly unique. I mean, you just, you just don't see it. But another interesting thing you've done with this boat is the flybridge. You know, we can't be all things to all people, all right? But we're standing on hull 24 of the PC60 and all of our owners, they spend a lot of time in the Bahamas and, and the Keys and, and Florida, where you don't always have to go and go onto a dock. In the Bahamas, there's so many beautiful places to go that don't have marinas. We designed the boat in a number of ways to accommodate that living out on the hook. Mm -hmm. So the boat's incredibly quiet um, while at anchor. So we don't have hard chines on the hull that, that you get a slapping noise from. We have a bridle system when you're anchoring so the boat doesn't swing and sail on anchor um, like some monohulls will. And so having achieved that, we then had to accommodate, you know, large spaces for tenders and, and what have you. This 60, you know, we can accommodate a 17 foot tender with a 100 horsepower motor. I mean, that, that on a 60 foot boat, that's just unheard of. And that is achievable because of what did you do with the flight? Well, we extended the flybridge um, to have a secure area for, for the tender because the tender's now big and robust and heavy. You don't want to put it on the back of the boat. That would just make the boat hobby horse. It's an expansive space. So another big part of the, of the cruising liveaboard lifestyle is also entertaining when you're in port or you're sitting on the hook with friends. And I see a lot of alfresco spaces up and about. So can you kind of describe some of those here on the boat? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, you've got a, here in the open salon, you have this beautiful um, island galley. So this is a great gathering area. For the boat show, we've taken away a coffee table that would be there, so another nice area. Again, some big TV, 60-inch TV pops out of there. We've tried to extenuate the livable areas of the boat all on the same level, because you walk out onto that off deck yeah. And it's the off deck of a hundred footer. Yeah, and when you bring out those sliding doors, inside, outside, one big entertainment space, and we're talking about a significant volume here yeah. that we are. I mean, you can see where we are and now. And you get that. And, and I mean, everybody's saying, well, at the end of the day, we're buying real estate on the water. Well, why wouldn't you maximize that real estate? So you step aboard this boat and you see a high level of fit and finish everywhere. Every joint, the countertops, the joint work, it's, it's evident everywhere. How do you achieve that? Dating back to 36 years ago when Horizon started their, their, their factory, you know, for the first 26 years they were building motor yachts up to 150 foot. So they got a core, you know, craftsmanship that's working. Our catamarans are, are built by the same woodworkers that are building the 140 footers, um, those beautiful FDs. It's the same, it's the same guys. So you're seeing super yacht quality. So we're seeing super yacht quality in, in your mechanics, your electrical, woodwork um, and, and that all culminates to a yacht that is built to a very high quality and quality promotes reliability at this very time we have a good 14 of our pcs out in the bahamas in remote areas and i think in the last three months for the winter i may have had one or two phone calls wow fantastic fantastic you know, and our owners will attest that the, that the boats they really are reliable, which, uh, which is good. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to run the boat. So what is it from the, from the helm station standpoint? What kind of electronics are we looking at? What kind of systems do we have up there? So we now offer a full, thanks to Garmin, a full glass bridge. So there are triple 87, 22 um, Garmin screens. Where you can bring up engine information and fish finding, 
you can even watch your latest sports program on one <laughs> on one of the, the, the Garmin screens as well. Oh, fantastic. So we, we've, we've maximized that. Nice big radars, depth sounders, and it's all a standard package. We want to offer a complete package to the client, right down to the fact that we supply a, an amazing bosun locker filled with all of your brushes and mops and chamois and blades and then a full kit of cleaning materials and tools. We want to offer a complete boat so that the owner has a hassle-free ownership. He's not walking down the aisle of West Marine or somewhere going, what should I be buying for that? Mm -hmm. We've supplied it. So what, what's the build time on a, on a 60? We're now at 11 months build time. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, the delivery time is dependent on the use of the mold. Now, obviously, we, we, we've been quite busy at the moment. We do have a few slots left for 2023 in, um, in, in the 60s. The 52s are, are fully sold out to 2023. Um, but yeah, it's about 11 month build time. So if somebody was interested in learning more about the PC60 or any of your other models, where would they go to find that information? Come to us here at the Boat Show or on our website, a myriad of videos, walkthroughs, you know, virtual tours, pick up the phone and give me a call. This is Patrick Shaka signing off from the Palm Beach International Boat Show. Stay tuned for more, because more is coming.